Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa, Pretoria, South Africa. My name is Gustav Muller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 116. Today's whiskey is Tomant L. Tomant L, 16 year old, single malt from the Tomant L distillery. This distillery is situated in Speyside, a very well-known Speyside area in the Northern Highland of Scotland. This here is the Scotland map, so we've got the Highland there and the Lowland. And right there is the well-known Speyside area, which is blown up for us to see the detail over there. And right at the southern part of Speyside, right there, is situated the Tumental Distillery. It was founded in 1964-65 and it's owned by Angus Dundee Distillers who also owns the Glencardum Distillery. And this distillery is actually well known for producing malt whiskey for blended whiskies such as the White and Mackay blended whiskey. And I believe it's one of those distilleries that are undervalued. It's not getting the recognition that it should um, based on my personal experience of this Tomantel 16 year old that I'm reviewing today and the 27 year old that I'm going to review tomorrow. So it's known as the Gentle Drum. It says there on the bottle the Gentle Drum bottled in a 750 milliliter bottle at 43% alcohol by volume. Speyside single malt whiskey. This is the beautiful gift box. Tomantel gift box, gift tube actually. And it has received a gold medal award at the San Francisco World Spirit Competition. And a lot of information here on the gift tube over there. Matured in eggs, bourbon casks. But it doesn't say anything about chill filtration or whether any coloring was added to keep the color of the different batches consistent. So we do not know that about this particular expression from Tom and Tao. That's the color there, a deep golden color. And you can see some of the legs just beginning to form there on the glass. Deep golden color. And when I opened the bottle just before the video to pour my dram, just to give it time to settle in the glass, even as I opened the bottle and poured it, I could get the rich fruity aromas of this beautiful whiskey dried fruit and sweet vanilla that's what i'm getting on the nose straight up rich dried fruit sweet vanilla citrus peel it's quite nutty and grassy as well and there's an earthy and a woody note in this whiskey as well the distillery was built near the town of Tumantel and it says here on the gift box mm, interesting the highest village in the highlands in the heart of Speyside that is where this distillery is built so it's quite high up which means that the climate is probably quite cold and all of these factors has an influence on on maturation of whiskey of course very nice nose it's striking that old wood and earthy character of the nose of this whiskey mm. very rich quite quite vibrant for a 16 year old 43 percent abv and you can feel 
that vibrancy and alcohol on the palate which I do not expect from a 16 year old so that is a bit of surprise but otherwise sweet and what I got on the nose I'm also getting on the palate the dried fruit the citrus peel and there's also a spicy flavors on the palate ginger that I'm getting nutty and cereal and ginger on the palate On the second sip, I'm getting coconut and vanilla and honey added to this entire flavor profile. The finish is quite short. I would say short to medium long finish and the citrus is what's remaining. Almost like a citrus marmalade with a bit of honey and vanilla and some oak spices. That's what I'm getting on the, on the finish. So let's see what a few drops of water is going to do to this single malt from Tom and Tal. That's the effect of a few drops of water right there. So the nose is now softer. And now I'm getting some dark honey. Honeyed vanilla. That's what I'm getting on the nose now. After a few drops of water. Mmm. A few drops of water has an incredible impact on this whiskey. It is now smooth. It's, it's even a bit sweeter. So that is recommendable with this whiskey to add a few drops of water. My summary, my summary would be citrus and honeyed vanilla with dried fruits. Mm. That's what my summary will be for Tumant old 16 year old. So a pleasant whiskey, but maybe a bit vibrant and youngish for a 16 year old. Cost-wise, for a 16-year-old, 1,000 Rand here in South Africa and around 40 pounds in the UK. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, then I would recommend that you connect with the dried fruit flavors in the flavor profile or the citrus peel, the vanilla, the honey, the fruits and ginger and nuts. Those are the elements that you can connect with. So if you are looking for a flavor companion you need to look for some something that will connect with those flavors so dark chocolate orange peel that is what I chose it says here dark chocolate glaze citrus peel that's what I'm going to use as a pairing for this particular whiskey but fruit and nuts can work ginger chocolate can work to connect with the spiciness and even fruit and nut nougat can work. But that is my dark chocolate glaze orange peel that I'm going to try with this whiskey. You can see the orange peel there in the center of the dark chocolate. Hmm. This actually works quite well. It enhances the citrus notes and the dark chocolate is uh, softening the spicy notes and the vibrancy of the of the whiskey. Mm. With this food snack, the whiskey, the effect of the whiskey, the whiskey, the way that I perceive and experience it much more eloquent and much more elegant together with this 
flavor companion that I'm using. Wonderful experience. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when I'll be reviewing the Tomantel 27-year-old single malt slanger.